Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today I'm bringing you the best formation and tactics for online. And this formation works offline as well. But please join me in my uh, Master League stream. I am using this formation and tactics online so you can see how well it performs and the things to look for that I'm going to explain in this video. So I'm going to kick this off with talking about the formation, talking about the tactics and also looking at which are the key players in this formation, what you should be looking for, and basically just how to get the best out of this formation and tactic. So let's uh, let's get straight into this. Okay, let's go to attacking instructions. So we're playing a possession game, short pass, wide attacking area, maintain formation, two for support range, front line pressure, wide aggressive, 10 for defensive line, two for compactness, false wingers, and false fullbacks. Now, let me just explain what I'm looking for in these instructions. So if we go back into the attacking instructions, what we're trying to do here is play a possession game, short pass, wide attacking area. Uh, the support range is two, so it makes everyone very... What you're going to find, this is a quite a narrow formation, especially with the false fullbacks and um, false wingers, which I'll touch on later. But you can see there, the support range is two. That means everyone's going to come close to the ball carrier, and you're going to be able to build up play... Uh, pretty quickly and you'll be doing a lot of one two through the middle but you'll also have the width of the wingers as well so here we've got the uh, front line pressure wide aggressive 10th defensive line so you do need that speed in defense and that's why you, you'll probably see me change uh, PK to Vidal just so you've got that extra bit of pace in defense because you are going to play a high line although the defensive line the way it works is um, because players track back so quickly um, it doesn't seem to leave you too exposed so what you'll find is your players do rush back quite quickly and you won't be uh, overly susceptible to balls over the top but it's something you'll need to watch and make sure your defenders have got about 75 speed plus and you should be okay and then we've got compactness too so while this is a narrow formation generally we want to keep that sort of spread between the players and what you're going to see that that compactness is going to make it really nice um to have a nice spread across the pitch and you're going to see that with the uh the screenshots i'll save so here we've got false wingers and false fullbacks like i said it's going to be very narrow and the false wingers are really key they're going to get in between the fullbacks and the center backs and the uh the false fullbacks is going to allow vidal and jordi alba just to tuck in again and that's going to make it very hard for the opposition to get out of their half and i'll be talking about that as the gameplay evolves so you're going to see Tottenham get trapped in their half they're going to try and long ball out and my false fullback is going to be there along with my defensive midfielder to sweep up and uh, build the build another attack as I mentioned earlier that if we look at PK's stats look at that explosive power 69 he has got 75 speed but that explosive power is his acceleration and agility so that's why I prefer to have Vidal in the defensive line now whether you choose uh, Nelson Semedo Sergio Roberto um, is up to you. Nelson Cimito is better going up and back because he's really, really quick. So ideal if you're facing an opponent that's trying to counter-attack. Um, or Sergio Roberto if you want to try and um, use his passing range, his, his ball control. Um, I, I tend to prefer Sergio Roberto um, purely because of his crossing. Um, but sometimes if you want to get up and back, with the threat of a counter attack, then you, you, it's best to go for some media. But like I said, I'd prefer Sergio Roberto because he's got that ball control, because he's got that crossing ability. He's a threat in in the uh, attacking areas, and this is this formation is super offensive, and we want to cause uh, our position as much trouble as possible. Now, the key positions in this formation are the attacking midfielder and the support striker, so Messi and Coutinho. And what you're going to find is they're going to find pockets of space between the defensive midfield and uh, and their defense so you're going to find that they those two that link up between those two are key and then you're going to find Dembele and Malcolm exploiting and getting in between the fullbacks and the center backs so those are the key areas that you need to witness when you're watching the game um, and then just to make sure you've got a fast fast back line 75 speed and you want probably about 75 um, explosive power as well but like I said, these two positions here, the SS and the attacking field are absolutely key. And uh, with set, the set forward is basically there just to push the defense back, creating that gap. And you can see there that it's just one position above the SS for the CF. So just 
moving forward one space and just look at the uh each 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 actual position really does matter so just make sure you've got these players in the right positions now that's the tactical talk over now let's get on with the game for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture well now they can't wait for it to begin and begin it will any second now okay so what you can see here is how the formation looks on the pitch so you can see the false fullback and false swinger tucking in on this wing and on the other wing the false swinger doesn't tuck in until you're over that side of the pitch so that's something to note but it will make your attacks very narrow especially as you get closer to the penalty box but you can see the amount of passing options you've got on at this stage pretty much every player is linked and it's very very hard for the opposition to um you know deny you time and space and this is why it's going to be effective online this is why you see this formation being used quite frequently but uh, this is my adaptation on the uh, online formation I think I've improved it personally but um, you'll have to test it yourselves and let me know how you get on but from my tests it's it's worked uh, it's worked out nicely so yeah without further ado let's, uh, let's carry on with the gameplay blue and burgundy wherever you look hymns ringing loud and proud this is what it is to be in the Camp Nou. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter. It's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair, skill, and plenty of tricks, and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So Jim, who do you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, how can I ignore the Brazilian Felipe Coutinho, uh, who delivers an awful lot for a little guy. Great imagination and guile about his work in midfield. And in attack, he can punch considerably above his weight. Just getting the best out of him will count for so much. Ali lobs it in gently. Messi. Now it's Luis Suarez. Into the channel. Okay, I just want to touch on something here. Notice the false swinger at the bottom of the screen that I've pointed with the giant arrow. Okay, and you can see a dotted line at the top of the screen. So what that means is when I've got possession that side of the penalty box, the full swinger will go into the box. As soon as I move outside the penalty box, the full swinger will drop outside the penalty box. So just notice his positioning. But what this does, look, you can see that he's tucked in already. That's giving you more numbers in the penalty box, giving you more options to score, giving you more options to cross to. So that's something just definitely to uh, keep an eye on. Jordi Alba. Swept this one. Eriksen gets good distance on it. And it's Jordi Alba. And there's the false winger tucking on the inside. Like I said, he gets in those awkward positions. And that's why the false winger this year is, is really effective. Remember how I said the SS and the attacking midfielder of keys to this formation? Well, there you had uh, Coutinho laying it into uh, Alba, into Suarez, into Messi, and then into the false winger position. The attacking options with this formation make it very very difficult to stop which is why it's so effective online good interception just to point out peter that the fullbacks are quite high and what do they try to achieve well it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about Sissoko plays it forward. Davis. Messi. Played into space out wide. 
Is it in? It's broken loose. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Deli Alley. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Coutinho. And the ball's come out. And it's Busquets. Jordi Alba. Is there any support? He might not need it. Busquets does well to read it and intercepts. Dembele. Coutinho. Aimed long and direct. And Titi. And it's Coutinho. Now it's Luis Suarez. Messi! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Philippe Coutinho. Messi. This is promising. Luis Suarez. Messi. And very necessary. Coutinho not easily shrugged off the ball. Roberto. And it's Coutinho. Luis Suarez. Danger averted for now. Dembele goes up and over. Jordi Alba delivers. And it's hoisted clear. Messi. And he's cut it out. I imagine there's going to be a few concerns around the defensive line being set to 10, which is very high. Um, but you can see here from the counter-attack that I've got players in position. I'm going to apply a secondary press with my defensive midfielder while I was closing that. Uh, I think it's Harry Kane down with um, MTT as well. So you've got more than enough options to deal with uh, counter-attacks as well. So just wanted to point that out. Tongan goes looking. Kane has got himself a free kick. Titi gets it back. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. Okay, the second half is going to ramp up in terms of goals and chances, but you can see here the first half 67% possession, four shots, two on target, uh, 90 passes, 77 of those were made, um, two crosses, nine interceptions, four tackles. So you can see it's completely dominant over compared to Tottenham. Only 33% possession, no shots, none on target, and only 44 passes made. Well, 35 of those 44 passes were made. Still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. It's all a decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Barcelona come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it shakes the shoots! And he just whacks it away. Coutinho. Now it's Luis Suarez. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. And it's Roberto.
Dembele. Jordi Alba. Just going to pause the game one final time just to explain the amount of options you've got. So you can see there the false fullback tucking in between the uh, the fullback and centre back of the opposition. You've got Coutinho there making a run as well. That false swinger will also bomb into the box. It gives you plenty of options in the box. Uh, almost too, too many options really. Um, and this is why it's so difficult to defend online. So I just thought I'd point that out to you. And hopefully uh, that will be the last time I stop the video. Thanks a lot guys. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Wide. Now, can he capitalize? Draws one in. Musa Sissoko. A real chance to break. Now it's Kane. He's got away. Kane pushes it out wide. Kane. He's played him through. Shot a goal. That was a beautiful reverse pass from Harry Kane there. Um, it was pretty poor defending. I should have went back in with him, but tried to play the offside. And the guy at the top of the screen, Sergio Roberto, let me down and uh, played them all onside. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then they got back into the game. This is when I really, really ramp up my uh, ramp up my game. I was like, right, no more, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. I still haven't moved. Forward it goes. That is as far as they're going to go. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. Jordi Alba. Suarez very cleverly provided the return ball there and it made all the difference in the creation of that goal. I don't want to take anything away from the finish, but the pass was really key. So we have a breakthrough. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Llorente looking to get on the end of this. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. And the ball is out of play. Dembele brings it forward. Now it's Luis Suarez. Dembele. He's got away, going for goal! Messi hits it! He has done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Loris reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. So the lead now is two. Can he finish? Yes! And the lead is extended still further. Barcelona are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Barcelona have a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Aurier can hoist it clear. Roberto. And it's Coutinho. Can he put it away? Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. Well, the most exciting sight on a football pitch. He had too much trickery for that defence. Brilliant. Tongan knocks it away. Shot a goal! What a hit. The save was firm. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. 
Dembele. Musa Sissoko. Clips one through. Nicely worked. Now it's Llorente. Llorente was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Foyt. Now it's Messi. Surely. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Now a chance to break. Just five minutes left. Shots on. He's had a go. performance they are in complete charge great corner and he did the rest yeah i just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had barcelona tear their opponents apart once again they are utterly ruthless he's through Stitch defending, but that'll do. And that, ladies and gents, is that. I hope you enjoyed the video and the tactic. Let me know how you get on in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you again in my next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.